Boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk. We gon' have fun. We be on fire. We be lit, lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know my damn well. Go on. Man, hey man, we got a guy here today. He don't need no introduction, man. This guy right here is a actor, man. For <clears throat> he's been in the acting business, man, for a long, long time in the theater for over 27 years, man. We up here in New Jersey, right here outside of New York. Manhattan is real close by, it's right, be right behind us. And it's going down, man. Lazar is in the building, man. What's going on? How you doing, man? Thanks for having me. Man, thank you for coming on the show, man. We're gonna get into a lot of different things. You've been in a lot of different movies, man. A lot of different, uh, just a lot of different uh, uh, acting roles and, and doing your thing for years, man. And just want to know what motivates you and drive you to keep going, man. From being in the Vampire Diary, Sleepy Hollow, Blacklist, man. And the list goes on. The the last Joker. Um, and, and like, like some of those things that I was naming, like, I just want to understand the drive that motivates you to keep going, you know? Like, but, but knowing Miss Jamaica, she gonna want to try to go down a road to understand who you are and where you're from in a whole nother level of detail. So go ahead, I'm hand it off to Miss Jamaica. Okay, so you're from Russia. Macedonia? Macedonia. Sorry, Macedonia. Yeah. What was it like growing up in Macedonia? Because that's the same Macedonia that's in the Bible, right? It is actually, yes. Okay, and we can only read and know Macedonia from what we read in the Bible. Or, of course, if you do research on YouTube and stuff like that, but for a local who lives there, tell me about Macedonia. Tell me about well, the people it's, there. It's a lot has changed over the years, of mm -hmm. course, but uh, like like every every other country. But Macedonia is still one of those, um, how, how should I put it, like extinct countries mm. that, uh, that uh, we, you, you, you still want to actually go and uh, and pay your bills at the register or mm -hmm. like go still at the store like don't order anything online we, st we, we still want to like talk to people on a daily basis and after work every day we would like to see our friends meet mm -hmm. our friends and uh, sit down and talk with our family for, for a little so but how is the culture like different like okay so if I was supposed to come there. What would what do people tourists come there for? What what is it? That's well, we do have a lot, a lot, a whole, a whole lot of uh, historic places. Like goes back like days, like two thousand years ago from Alexander the Great. Two years ago, we just discovered the the grave of Philip the Second, the Alexander the Great's father. And really, that made a lot of changes. So uh, we do have we do have a lot of a lot of nature, a lot of. Um, uh, forests we have a couple of lakes and uh, we're we're one of the oldest countries in the world really wow, wow. it is it is small still but but it it, it is like makes that like impact on some way or the other mm -hmm. i don't even know why i would i thought about it when as i talked to you because i met a guy from malita a malta and this guy years ago, probably around, I want to say 17 years ago, I was talking to him about, you know, just God, the movement. And the one thing he told me was that in, in, in that country that they are not building churches, buildings like they do in America. Mm -hmm. He was saying that the original buildings that they worshiped in, they still worship in those buildings. And it's not about how many buildings you build, but about how many people you can build up. Is that am I right? It is, yeah, it is, it is, it is true, and it is same. It, it is same in, in in my country, Macedonia as well. It's the yeah. same way. It is the same, yes. yes. So when you come here, you see how people are commercializing, uh, commercializing, manipulating somewhat mm -hmm. the people through building buildings and financial gain off of a lot of times the spiritualism or of the Protestant movement. Mm -hmm. What do you does does it make you look at it a little different or do you see it from a different angle being from no, uh, it's, Macedonia? It's not it I don't I don't I don't I don't see it as a different angle and uh, I don't want to see it as a different angle. But the thing is in those like smaller and older countries is you trying to to make the the best out of what you already have. So that's why we don't want to build anything new like like we don't want to 
commercialize everything so we just we just appreciate everything we had like over the years and we're just trying to save and preserve all of that wow yeah because like i said it, the history is so prominent and and even even the tourists that would come over there and look to see macedonia to see where the, you know in that 200 mile radius where jesus we believe walked you know what i mean um you know to see that it's still uh, history being uh, made and found in these countries. Yeah. People don't understand what went into all of the the, the religious wars and the, the, the wars that when it came to the literature, yeah. you know, how it was something that, you know, people, some people don't believe. Some people say it was something other than what people say it is. There are yeah. so many different things, but I'm a believer. So I'm going to yeah. be honest with you. Um, I just know that when you start looking at the canon scriptures and you start looking at the, the the scrolls, the way that they found different things mm -hmm. when they would go do their research. I believe in the historians and what they found. Yeah, yeah, I believe as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, this um, new generation says it's, it's uh, they don't it's not they don't believe it, but they just don't have time to believe because we have all these like different systems like everywhere in the world, and uh, they they growing up kind of kind of differently that that back in the day while we were growing up and uh, that's why it's not they don't want to believe they just don't have time to believe because they don't see it on a daily basis well that don't change the rules excuse me that don't change the rules oh, that, uh, no, that not don't at change all. the rules not at, at all. all not at all <laughs> not at all Lazar, so, I mean, you know, like I said, man, thank you for coming on the show. Us being up here in New York, we wouldn't, uh, I mean, we would not miss the opportunity to sit down with people who really understand what it takes to grind, to go out here and, 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 and land these roles like you've done. You've, you've been in Law and Order. Yeah. You've been in different, uh, 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 different uh, TV shows, TV shows, different movies, and I think that's just to be commended. You know what I mean? Yeah. So thank you so much. But for, how did you get into it? How did you get into the film industry, coming from Macedonia to here? Like all the way from here, yeah. There's this one thing that we all have in our lives that we're so good at it, but after a while doing it, uh, we think that it's uh, it's our like a lifetime thing. But mm -hmm. after a while, you just realize it's not for you. So I've been doing like so many different things. I started working when I was, I started writing and working when I was like very early age, like nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, I was I was working pretty much anything that I can get my hands mm -hmm. on, and after a while, you just realized it it it's not that thing that it's like supposed to be like when you open your eyes in the morning. You and, can't and, wait, and, mm -hmm. and and you you either says like I can't wait to do that, or you says Oh my God, not again. Yeah, yeah. So how old were you when you came here? It was about ten years ago. I was twenty three at the time. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so you started late with that transition. You know, well, a lot yeah. of people when they're younger, they're like. I can't wait to leave. Yes, uh, I, I, I grew up, uh, the European countries, like, uh, we kind of, we are drawn more than theater than the movies, mm -hmm. and we like to, more like to read than to watch movies. We do like watching movies, but uh, we like to, uh, to, to go to the core of the, of the, of the story and what, what made all that characters, like, do that and go there. So and, the uh, film industry there is different from here. It is. It is way more different, yeah. The way how you view it and the way how you, you, you portray the stories, like what you're saying. The way how you portray the stories, yes. Wow. Yes. And so you were doing film before you came here? I was doing a little bit of film, film here and there, but I was drawn more to the theater. So to I, the theater. I, I, just, I just kind of stuck to the theater i mean not stuck I, I i love what i do but and is that the reason why you came here into the states is because um doing to do more film um not mainly for film but that was one of the reasons but there's this time we all have to do in our life calls uh we call it soul search mm. and i i've started that since my very very early age and i i felt that i need like huge difference in my life and mm -hmm. i decide i'll just because I didn't know what else to do at the time besides like writing and, uh, right. and reading. And I said, okay, I'm gonna try like travel halfway the world and see what happens. And I'm-, I'm, I'm How happy. many places have you been? Is that half? I, 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 I've lived in like so many countries. Like I've been living in Russia for a while. Uh -huh. uh, back in my, in my college days, I was there and uh, like in Europe, a couple of countries. And uh, when I came to the States, I said, okay, I, I, I'm sure this is the place. California. Here, yeah. <laughs> wow. And you've been here ever since. I've been here ever since. 
Mm. I want to talk about Vampire Diary for a minute. Like, how was it even landing that role, you know, to even play part in that? Like, break it down to me. How did you even know about it? Well, there's this thing. I was doing uh, photography back in the day. I okay. was doing it for so long, and I won, like, so many exhibits all over Europe. And uh, when I came here in 2012, I started applying as a photographer, not right away as an actor. Because the, the, it, now and, and even then, the, competi the competition was just huge. Mm -hmm. And I started applying as a photographer, and I said, okay, I'm going to start there and see how it goes, and I'm just going to move from there. And, uh, and uh, my first like big job, it was actually Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy, okay. Sleepy Hollow, yeah. They, they just started the pilot episodes in 2014, and they hired me as a photographer. And uh, they liked it. They 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 liked what I did, and they were like satisfied with my job. And that's how I got transferred from Sleepy Hollow to uh, Vampire Diaries. And, wow. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 so, as you like like like, when you was on set, were you nervous? Well, it was like a whole new thing for me because the sets here in the states and sets in russia sets in like australia new zealand in europe are, are totally different so i didn't know what to ex what to expect so when i showed up in the morning and when i saw like a 500 people behind the camera i was like this is the thing, <laughs> this is the thing. <laughs> was has, had there ever been a time when you on set that that language bear became an issue far as you know the language barrier because sometimes it can be a plus oh sometimes because because be you plus, plan yes. a plan a certain role you play a certain role yes but it was uh uh i'm one of those guys that uh i'm how do i call it like a fast thinker and uh, whatever they say, I just, I didn't understood it at the time, like right there in the moment, but after five, 10, 15, 20 seconds, w when it sinks in, I, I, I understood it and I can reply back and have the conversation. And if they want to change the script, I'll just, I'll just, just memorize the new thing right away. And, uh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Like, like uh, law and order is a long running deal. We out here, we've been out here uh, interviewing ice T mm -hmm. and um, I just, um, w for you to work on this set, uh, with it being such a long running uh, 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 film, um, episode after episode, episode over twenty five years, you know, running yeah. the longest running, uh, you know, show out there. Really, when you look at it, like, how big was it for you when you landed that those roles, some of those small roles or big roles, whatever you were doing with them, stand ins? How was it? Well, it was. It was the feeling was was the same. Like when you when oh, you no. have that feeling when you make like big decisions in your life like either you're getting married you go live in a different country you decide to have kids so it was pretty much the same for me it was like when i i, I went there and i i just when i saw like over 1500 people over there and they're all like doing their job and and everything is so uh on point and and at at that should be and i said this is the number one thing because i've never seen anything like it before. and I'm still I, I i haven't seen anything like it like yeah. wow and 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 that's that's something else do like when you get in somebody did you want to uh, yeah some? i have a question about that with law and order did you ever get to interact with um ice tea at all were but you I filming that, at the same time that was way back in the day when i filmed a couple of episodes that was back in 20 when i uh transitioned from from Sleepy Hollow to Vampire Diaries, and mm -hmm. uh, from a photographer, this was an interesting tour actually, from a photographer, the director saw me and he says, you go change wardrobe and you're gonna act. And I said, bingo, <laughs> you, you got the right guy, because <laughs> I've been doing this for a pretty long time. So uh, uh, at that point, those actors, I, I met those actors, but I wasn't like aware of who they are, because yeah. I, I don't watch television, I've never watched television in my life. And uh, but when I went there, when I met Ice T, it's not I was I was amazed by by the by like, like how big of a human being he, uh, he is instead of how big of an actor he is. Correct. Like mm -hmm. like how how sweet these people are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you never watch that, TV. Yeah, that's exactly what we mean by you yeah, never. I, I watched some TV like here and there, but the, oh, okay. the TV kept me going. That was okay. like actually not now. It was like a okay. very long time. I ago. just thought you were you were that phenomenon who's just never watched TV ever. Well, I haven't done for about twenty five years, but. Mm. Uh, sometimes I watch, but not TV, like on a cell phone when my cousin want to show me something or my friend says, hey, look at this on Instagram. I watch that. Yeah. But what really kept me, like, like woke, woken up in me, that is... Pull that microphone up a little bit to you. There you go. All right. 
<laughs> is when I was uh, nine, actually, eight or nine, and I saw this movie Giant with James Dean, and uh, I was just amazed of uh, his performance. Like, at one point, he's this young guy, and like the next scene, he's like this seven year old guy. And at the time, I was thinking, like, uh, <laughs> uh, the production is waiting that guy to get old so they can film the rest of it, like after 50, 60, 70 years. And I got so confused. And then I asked my mom, I said, like, what is going on? And she explained me, actually. You she put makeup. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you put makeup. And she says, like, like you, you have to be a genius to pull something like that, like to be this young guy and old, like someone old in the right. same day. And I said, hmm, okay, that's interesting. And that's how it kept me going all these years. Mm. Wow. I, I just, like I said, when I look at acting, you know, y'all say makeup, you know. How, you know, how much preparation goes into getting set up to do a certain scene? Well, there's this thing uh, back in the academy, when I was in the academy, uh, they used to teach us uh, n never... Uh, see yourself while perform uh, while practicing never see yourself in front of the mirror because after that all you do at the theater or in movies is you just uh going over the same gesticulation that, mm. that you've done before mm -hmm. so i've never done that and uh what was the question again i'm sorry it's like <laughs> the preparation before scenes you know the preparation yeah but first thing you do is you you memorize the lines whether you think about the character or not and uh, you memorize the lines. That takes a while. Depends. Do you forget sometimes? Oh yeah, always, <laughs> always. Like a word or two. Like when you have like when you have like to film something, and and when the production says we want it exactly as is, as it is in the book. But uh, other than that, you have this thing called improv. So you yeah, you, yeah. you improvise. And uh, the preparation is you 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 first thing you do is you memorize the lines and after that you're building the character and the scene and after that comes the wardrobe and the makeup and everything that comes last. Wow. Because yeah, because you don't want to see yourself in a mirror because you don't want to repeat the gestures in the theater or in the movie. You you want to dig deeper and you like to bring out that character. Can you cry? Oh yeah, of course. On the dime. Of course. Okay, let's do, let's go. Oh, no, not <laughs> I'm, I'm having a right here. Oh, what the heck just happened on Boss Talk 101? My wife loving every minute. Oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> I'm having a good time with you guys. I'm not going to cry now. <laughs> but you, if You're you so to, awesome. If you had to, you... you, you yes, could, I can, yes. And yes. What, how do you go to that place? Well, there is no other way that you... Think about something you sad. You think about something sad that happens to you or someone close to you. But even then, I've tried doing that. I've tried like, okay, let me see if I can just cry on a dime, and I start thinking about something sad. But it, it like it takes a minute to really get you. And it, it don't just happen in two seconds. Like if they're filming, all they like, do with okay. that money. If that money is no. right, if that money is right. <laughs> <laughs> you try that, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> they tell you tonight you make a hundred thousand, uh -huh. or you won't make that hundred thousand. Oh, them, you will cry. <laughs> I'll tell them, let's give me some eye drops or put something right here, and I'll. Put the eye drop in there and then I'll blink and it's just gonna. <laughs> gonna now the out. thing, now the thing is, uh, you you have these things called the rehearsals. We all know about that. So you you rehearse that scenario, you rehearse that scene for many many days before the filming. So mm -hmm. when the time comes, you you you're just ready. You you there. Mm. Wow, man, Lazar, man. When 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 I think about acting and just the the the. The preparation and the time that you've put into it, man, it's just truly an awesome thing, man. I, like I said, I, I definitely to be way up in uh, New York and not mm -hmm. talk to Lazar, I'd be missing out, you know. So I knew that. So I just thank God for him putting you in my life, you know, yeah. to where me and you sit now. Who'd have thought an old boy out of uh, Lodi, Texas, would be talking to a guy from Macedonia, mm -hmm. way in a whole nother country, mm -hmm. in New York, New Jersey? You know what I'm saying? Right. Who would who would ever thought that? Encounters don't happen by accident. It was predestined. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe in accidents, and God always work this, works these mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. Is it tough? You know, back in the days, you know, you and I know during the times of, of the biblical times, it was Roman rule and all type of different things going on in your country. But yeah. now, these days, how is the government built up? Is it something where it's easy living is it tough you know how is it because i hadn't been there but just yeah. break down the living process of being in macedonia well it is um i'll go in the middle it's not easy but it's not tough it, it's not tough at the same time uh because we 
mm, we not that we don't care about money, but it's not the first thing that 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 we always put at the top. So uh, uh, the conclusion from that is uh, that I can pull is uh, we we all need money, of course, like at, at the end of the day. But the same at at the end of the same day, we we also need this this thing called life, and uh, you want to live like like as as you feel it at the moment. We're, we're not chasing money. We don't have that much, but we're not chasing it as, at the same time. But when you think about like just the roads and uh, the highways and the, the 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 traveling, the eating, the restaurants, all of the different things that go into things in America here, mm -hmm. what is the difference in a Macedonia? I know being a third world country, right? Well, the difference is uh, when we go out to restaurants, we we do have really really good food. <laughs> But uh, when we go out, it it's not the food the first place, uh, and 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 it don't matter like like how how far you would travel to eat like certain food. But the first thing that comes to mind is you going out to see your friends and to see your family. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. So whatever the roads will take us, we'll go there, and uh, it's it's all the same. Is it, how's the crime rate? The crime rate? It's I would put it at zero. That, and and why, how do they? Why is it so low? Because uh, uh, yeah, like I said, we don't we don't chase money. We 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 just we just want to live our life and uh, make the best of what you already have. I've seen I've seen like living in different countries. Like I've seen this thing. Like people are so scared when the doorbell rings and they hiding behind their couch. In my country, if you open your door and if you leave it and leave your home, the only thing that will happen is <coughs> someone come there and close the door. <laughs> yeah, that's the only that's thing it. that will happen. That's it. Yeah. Boy, wouldn't it be nice in America if somebody just came to your house and closed the door? If somebody come to your house in America, they taking that TV. They're going to take uh, the car keys to come back later. <laughs> Think about it. It's been different yeah. things that happen in people's houses, man. I had a partner, and I'm going to tell you about this, Lazar. He was dropped off and drunk at the wrong house. And they beat the hell out of my partner. Oh my God. He could have died. Yeah, he could have died, yeah. He was drunk already and he laid on the couch because he drunk. Mm -hmm. And they tried to all, and, and, and this this is a real story, I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. Like, and, and when we, it, it caused him to have to be in the hospital and everything else. So what I'm saying is, man, it's crazy, but you know, crime is a different level here. And then the police yes. brutality here. How's the law enforcement in, in Macedonia? Well, you, you, you can, well, at the end, you don't want to mess up because we, 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 we do have some, some, have prison? some pretty amazing like navies and, uh, yeah, we, we, we do have prison. Yeah. We do have what about prison. three people in there? Uh, four, I, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> what a life, right? It's not about it's not about like America or Macedonia or New Zealand or Russia or whatever. It's 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 about the way I see it. My point of view it's how many people there are. You guys have here like millions and millions of people. Macedonia yeah. is only two million people. Only two million. Only two million people. Do you know what happened with two million people in the wrong place in America? <laughs> Man. Purge. <laughs> man, you know, I, I just, um, like I said, I wanted to get you on the set, man. Um, how was it in the movie with 50 Cent? Which one was it? For Life? It's called For Life, yes. How was it working on that set? And did you get to meet 50 Cent? Oh, I got to meet 50 Cent, yeah. But uh, the thing is, I we we haven't seen each other like that much because he was actor and producer at the same time. Okay. So he was taking like mini breaks. Uh, oh, he, he take a lot of breaks. He takes a lot of that breaks. That didn't yeah. sound good, Lazar. I mean, uh, yeah. he's, he's a leader, all and producer. He he can do whatever he, he wants. He can do what he wants to. He want to. Yeah. So uh, yeah, he was taking these breaks, and uh, at, at at one point you you'd see him there. At the other point, you see him like two buildings in the back. You you, you just can't catch his pace. <laughs> so do you yeah. think that? Do you think that? Did you know he was who he was? Oh yeah, of course. Who doesn't know who Fifty Cent is? Some people don't. Now, let me ask you this: then. we in we we up here in uh, on the East Coast. That brings up a good point. Now we up here in uh, New York, New Jersey, whatever. We in New York, New Jersey. We here. You know what I'm saying? And you just made a valid point. Who doesn't know who Fifty Cent is? Yeah, who doesn't know? 50 okay, there's there are certain people that say Fifty Cent. 
may be in entertainment more impactful than Jay Z. Well, I don't know. <laughs> But I do. You know, see what I'm saying? I because do, of the, the the star power. Yeah, but I do know one thing. For me, I don't know about others, but for me, when I'm having a hard times in my life, I have five people helping me, and I put Tupac on the second place. Hey, that's why I got it. So you, you like? So you a Tupac, Tupac on the fan? Place, yeah. I'm, I'm not fan. I mean, just just listen to his songs. He has that boy had a lot of stuff to say. He liked the Tupac. Yeah. It, you know, and that's what makes Tupac a legend. Is because you can be from Macedonia, you can go anywhere in this world, and people are gonna know who Tupac is. Yeah. And were you and listening then, to Tupac yeah. when you were in Macedonia? Of course. See what I'm of saying? Course. That's crazy. It's crazy, but it's so real. It's so real. So how did you feel? You was in Macedonia when he got when he got killed. Or were you here? Ninety seven. I was there. You was in Macedonia. Yeah, I was about. Let me see. I was born eighty eight. That was ninety seven. I was nine years old. And you knew it happened. I didn't know then. You didn't know he had but, got killed. But after a couple of years, I when I started listening to music and digging deeper into the music, and I realized that, that then I actually realized who Tupac is. Yeah. And you was like, I like this Tupac. I like this Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> What's but, your favorite but, but, song? But, but never underestimate Brent, Brenda's got a baby. Hey! <laughs> but Brenda barely got a brain. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't ever underestimate no one else because but when, when 50 showed up in Macedonia, the entire country went on that concert. Mm. Whoa, yeah. you say 50 Cent came to Macedonia? Yeah, he came about, I don't know, like 10, no, it was like maybe 15 years ago. I don't, I don't Were know. Were you there? I was there, yeah. You went to the concert? Sure. That's crazy because now I really am tripping off the fact that you was in that movie with him mm -hmm. because that was big for you. Oh, it was huge. And, e and even when I was in the movie, it was still huge. I can s I, 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 I was sitting with him like having breakfast, drinking coffee, and we having like normal, normal conversation, and I was just in my head, what the hell is going on in here? <laughs> <laughs> this is 50. That's crazy though, yeah. because you'd have never yeah. thought yeah. when you was at that concert in Macedonia yeah. Yeah. You that never, you would end up sitting no. and hanging out with 50 no. Cent. No, and that, I, I, don't, I don't try to like, like pull like selfies or stuff like that, because I, I respect. I, I, I respect, yeah. yeah. And I think that's big, that's noble. It is big, yeah. And I appreciate everything else time. Yeah, yeah. Would you like to work with 50 Cent again? No, oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Do you you follow the powers? You know, you you know, you could be a well, you could be on one of them power series that he got going on. Cause he got some different Yeah, he had a mob on um, He got the mob on the one with, with Tommy. With Tommy, yeah. Yeah. I don't even know what they called that though. I didn't that's oh probably my, my least I didn't I like that one a lot. Right. The only reason I forgot the name of it because it's due time for it to come out and it hasn't come out. So, yeah. I yeah, it. yeah, man. He's grown so much since that movie that you were in with him. What was that again? Because you have to say this a couple of times because uh, I, I have to remember because you remember I don't watch television. He's, he's, he does a, a, a power. Like, it's it's on stars. Okay. And, and he does episodes. They're episodes, they're TV episodes, episodes okay. on stars. It started off with power. Then it, it evolved and goes. What he's genius about is the fact that he have all these different um, TV shows that really interlink. Okay. But it didn't start off interlinking. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So he has like three or four of them that come on back to back to back. What I mean, like this season is finished. His other season and the other show comes on. Okay. And then next season, and that's how he does it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But all the people in it sort of interlink because at one point or the other. Because most of them deal with the drugs, the street, yeah. so yeah. so different cities they eventually interlink. But it's yeah. it's just a dope s series. Yeah, I I look that up. I, I want to know, man, Lazar, how how can people get a hold to you if they looking to link with you or come, you know, or your I'm Instagram? Looking for a movie. A I am on Instagram. Yes. What's your IG? I'm on Facebook. Uh, on Instagram, I, I go by by a stage name that I used way back in the day, but I still like it. <laughs> what is it? It's a letter B. And then space, and that's a Milan with two L M M I L L N, and then another space, and then Macedon with K M A K E D O N. Wow. Um, okay, and okay, top three actors, actors of all time, um, dead or alive, dead or alive. Of course, dead or alive. <laughs> number one, <laughs> number one is James Dean. James Ooh, Dean. Wow, I like James Dean too. Then number I would, two, I would go with the. Uh, 
Marlon Brando, of course. Mm -hmm. And the third place I will put Paul Newman. Hey, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, that's big. So uh, I had a lot of old school. Yeah, yeah. Old school. Well, you you know he's deep. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, man, listen, man. Um, wouldn't have missed this for the world. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on our show, man. Um, we we love you, brother. I appreciate Lazar. It. I appreciate. It. God brought you into our life. Yeah. I'm going to keep you about to lock in with us on Instagram, right? Yes. And we're going to rock out with you, man. And if you are, you going to fly to Dallas and come do the show in Dallas? Sure. I'll be, I'll be in Texas, actually. This end of May, I have uh, some feature I'm filming there. I will stay for about two weeks. Where? Oh, wow. I don't know where yet. They just mentioned Dallas. So you're gonna I'm in uh, Texas. So, I don't so know. if it's close to Dallas, you'll come up and do something on the set? Even if it's not close, I'll still come back. Hey, hey man, Lazar, man. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Sure. And if you know anybody looking for someone to book, um, we can always pass the information on because we've been meeting a lot of a lot of actors, a lot producers, of producers, yeah. and producer. people always looking for certain people. Sure. Man. Hey, man. Thank you so much, man. Hey, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss's talk. And we out. Man.